So today we're doing the power of makeup and this is something I really wanted to do for a long time and I don't know why I just never did but I still think it's pretty exciting now. Um, so if you don't know the power of makeup tag, it was created by Nikki Tutorials. It was a video that went really viral and uh, where she made up half a face and then left the other half bare just to show what you really can do with makeup. So that's what we're gonna do today. And obviously it's not gonna have the same impact as her because I don't use you know, daily, uh, I don't do makeups so sophisticated and so heavy. Uh, so it's not gonna have the same impact, but it is gonna have some impact. And I do wanna talk about the power of makeup because I love makeup. So let's get on with this. And I'm gonna start by priming. I'm using the Pixi Primer, the Flawless Beauty Primer. Oh my God, it's raining. I hope the sound isn't too loud. It's weird. I kind of have the urge to put this hand where it doesn't belong today. So now I'm going to put on my BB cream and I'm using this Aqua Petite BB cream by Halika Halika. This is a Korean BB cream uh, that my friend Vanessa, we kind of cleared out her stash the other day because she was moving and she had a lot of things she didn't want. This is one of those things because it was too light for her. So I kind of kept it and I kind of really like it. It's light enough for me. It's a little grayish that I, which I love. I'm also a little bit pinky. No, I just I want to spread it on the left side of my face so bad, but okay. I will not. I will not. Concealer wise, I'm gonna use uh, under my eyes the Zoeva concealer Spectrum, and I'm gonna be using this shade right here in the middle. But beforehand, I'm gonna use this little salmon shaded shade uh, that kind of will counteract the dark circles so I'm just gonna rub that on and then put the right shade on top of it and that just gives so much more coverage but I'm gonna blend it in the beauty blender as well like these are two different people because I don't have a lot of blemishes right now my skin is really behaving I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on the spots that I can see that are showing through a little and cover them up a little they're actually not very bad Yay me! So now I'm gonna start with my eyes and I'm gonna start by applying a base. This is like a, this is the Claha uh, waterproof eyeshadow shade Golden Peach. As I've told you before, I've been using this in all my kind of makeup based videos because this is the only cream eyeshadow I have and I forgot all my primers in Portugal so this is kind of the only base I have for the eyes, so it's gonna have to work every which way. For my eyes, I'm gonna do a very neutral look because I kind of want to show the power of makeup not only when, you know, you have a lot of makeup, but also regular, basic makeup that you wear every single day. So I'm gonna do a very neutral look and I'm gonna be wearing my, be using my Makeup Geek Neutral Eyeshadows. So I'm gonna start with Frappe. I'm gonna start laying in that base. Adding a little bit of homecoming in the corner. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Cocoa Bear and just do that crease a little bit. And then in the inner corner, I'm gonna go with Anastasia Beverly Hills Pink Champagne to give a little bit of a sparkle. I'm gonna move forward and I'm gonna be applying mascara. Today I'm gonna use the Cell Other Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara. This is a tubing mascara. If you don't know what a tubing mascara is, is um, a new kind, kind of new, not really new, but a new kind of mascara that uh, you can take away with, you can take off with only warm water, and that's true, I've tried it. Um, 
this is good for people who have sensitive eyes because this doesn't flake at all. I'm not explaining myself very well, so you should search for tubing mascara. But this is what it is. I find that it's really good at lengthening because uh, the texture is much thicker than regular mascara. Now we're gonna go with brows and I'm gonna be really doing them brows. So I'm gonna use the new Nabla Cosmetics uh, Bro Bro Bro. <laughs> the Bro Dips. No, the Brow Dips. Uh, they're called Brow Pots actually. Um, and I'm gonna be mixing the shades Venus and Neptune because Venus is a little too light. Neptune, you guessed it, is a little too dark. So, I don't like to fill in uh, my brow with those angled brushes. I know that a lot of people do like that, but because I have already pretty full brows, I don't like to do that because I feel like it's really time consuming and uh, as natural looking as I'd like it to be. Uh, because I'm not going to be drawing anything, I'm just going to be filling them in a little bit. So, I'm going to take a little bit out of those two pots. The texture is amazing, it's pretty stiff, but so, so pigmented and it is very very creamy but at the same time it when it sets it just sets so I'm gonna be using the spoolie this is one of their brow uh, pencils and I don't use I barely use pencils but I'm gonna be using this spoolie that's in the back gonna here it is I'm gonna dip it in this is very unorthodox and I realize that but I'm gonna dip it in and I'm gonna fill that in it may look like I'm not doing anything, but just look at the difference, it's... Wow. I really love these spots if I'm going for a really sophisticated, really heavy look. I look, and then I want my brows to be like, Yas, bitch, come on over. Very inviting. Next, I'm gonna do my contour. I don't always do my contour because... This is very time consuming and I don't always feel like I need it, honestly, to be quite honest, don't kill me. But I'm gonna be doing that so you can really, sh so I can really show you the difference that contour can make. I'm gonna be using again the Weaver's Contour Spectrum. I'm gonna be using this shade right here, the 40 shade. And I'll just slap myself across the face with my contour palette. So I'm gonna be dipping in with a Real Techniques contour brush and just filling it in a little bit. As my powder, I'm gonna use the Hourglass palette, Ambient Lighting palette. I'm gonna use the back of my Beauty Blender. My skin hasn't been very oily at all, so I haven't been needing powders that much. I just really do it to set the makeup. Um, so I haven't been swirling around because I feel like that just really dries my skin. It has been really, really dehydrated. Okay, contour is done. So I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting. I'm gonna be using a Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector Press in the shade Opals. A brush in hand and just go to town. I'm gonna go in with the Zoeva Nude Spectrum. I'm gonna go a little heavy today just to show you why I can. So I'm gonna be mixing this one with this one. And those are the 30 and the 20. step left is lipstick so I'm gonna be using Colourpop's Lumiere lipsticks yeah guys this is the power of makeup worse and honestly I'm not hating this side it's just I feel a lot more powerful with this side I'm not gonna lie if I'm going I mean if I don't have acne because my skin has been pretty clear and if I had done this I should have done this uh, a few months ago because it'd be so much more drastic uh, because of the acne but if I don't have acne I actually don't mind going out without any makeup um, 
I do a little when I have acne because I'm really insecure about it. I don't like it and I can't even look people in the eye. Uh, when I don't have acne, my skin is clear. I'm perfectly fine with not wearing makeup, but makeup is so much fun. It's just so much fun. So what I'm trying to say with this video and this tag is all about it is like, don't judge people because they use makeup because makeup is awesome. Makeup is something creative to do every single morning and I love doing my makeup because I can I'm always thinking like what new can what new thing can I bring to the table how can I pair this lipstick with that eyeshadow what is the perfect combination for this outfit and I really use makeup as a tool T to me makeup is like a continuation of my outfit I feel okay like this it's fine but this is just you know, it's so much fun, it's so much better, it makes me feel good. It, not, it not only makes me feel good when I look in the mirror, I'm like, damn. But it also makes me feel good, like, doing it every single morning. It's a ritual that I really enjoy. And, you know, if you don't, that's fine. But if you do, embrace it. Don't hate the makeup, people. So, yeah. That is what this video is all about. So if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. If I have any YouTuber viewers from London, uh, I am gonna be at the YouTube uh, open creator open house on Monday. Uh, so if you're going, tell me because I'm going alone. I don't really know anyone here and I'd love to meet you up. If you're going, yes, hit me up in the comment section. I guess I'll see you next week, but don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. All the details are down below in the description box. All the products I use are also in the description box. And, you know, power to that makeup. <laughs>